Hi everyone, hope you're doing great. Today I want to talk about a topic that is not probably the most favorite topic, but it's about change. Change before you have to. We all heard this, right? Now, I'm so happy to tell you that two years ago, I started a series of trainings for my entire team members called MindShift. The reason I'm happy about this is for two years, we've been talking about shift, we've been talking about change and adapting ourselves. Now today, I see the results. It wasn't easy, but it was easier to go through the process of change during the COVID-19. So let me tell you what do I mean by mind shift. The definition for shift for me, the S, is surplus the status quo. Don't accept average. You are not average and you need to exceed expectations in everything you do. Why I say you need to do that? Because God has not created you to be average. You have a calling, you have a greatness within you, and you are capable of exceeding expectations. That's the S of the shift. Surpass the status quo. The H is honor your values. Make decisions, make the right decision based on your core values. Don't let everybody else or other people force you the decision, the right decision based on core values. The I, impact the world. Yes, whatever we do eventually is gonna impact other people. As leaders, as entrepreneurs, whatever you do right now, the decisions you make, are gonna impact more people around you than you think of. The F, Focus on your purpose. It's very important to keep looking at your purpose because during tough times, purpose will push you, will force you, will encourage you, will inspire you to go through the challenging time. When you have a clear purpose, you will become unstoppable. And the T is transcend boundaries. Break all the records. Don't let the rules around you put you in the box. Get outside the box because your success is not going to happen within the box that you are sitting in right now. It's outside that box, outside of that comfort zone. So I came up with this mind shift and we've been going through this for two years. I'm so happy to tell you that the way my team reacted and responded to the change now, I'm so proud of them. They did a fantastic job. We went from face-to-face -face interaction with customers to almost 100% using virtual platforms like Zoom, FaceTime, and Skype, and many others. So that's exciting. I wrote something for you here. I'm just gonna read it quickly. It's, it's a nice quote. Yeah, it's mine, that's why. <laughs> Be the hero of your own story. Don't try to compete, create. Don't try to compare, dominate. It's my favorite because I know for a fact that God has created us to be creative, to be open to change, to make the shift when we have to. I know we are going through tough times. I know some people are losing their work and their career, but the reality is what are the areas in your life that you have to make the shift right now? What are the areas of your life and business, that you see some opportunity right now to make the shift, what it takes for you to get out of your shell and do something new, because this is the one-time opportunity God has given us. This is the opportunity for you to do something new that you've never done in the past. One of my favorite questions I always ask is, when was the last time you did something for the first time? That's, that was like a wake-up call when somebody asked me the question. So I want to finish by this and ask you this. When was the last time you did something for the first time? This is the time. This is your opportunity. You are very gifted. You have that calling within you. Find it and make the best of it. And you will succeed because Corona is not big enough to stop you. You are bigger than any challenges out there. I love you guys. Be safe. Stay healthy. Till later.